we really need to come to understand the true nature of all data. Data or thoughts, emotions, sensations, anything we experience or anything we don't experience. In the Balance You training we simply call everything that we perceive or not perceive as data. We don't need to complicate it. Now, the true essence and meaning of all data is beneficial potency. Now, we have not grown up with this understanding. We haven't grown up with this kind of education to see that all of our data, no matter their label, are the beneficial potency of reality. So to begin to see this in our experience, gradually over time, when this starts to become our lived direct experience, we need a tool, we need a practice, we need a, a support system to make this our lived reality. In Balanced View, we rely on open intelligence, the essence, the beneficial potency of all data. So what is open intelligence? What is the basis of all data? Open intelligence is that by which we know, that that is looking through your eyes. The intelligence of the universe, you could say. This intelligence that is always on cannot be turned off timelessly free in every moment. And it's actually your own power to know. Open intelligence is who you are. It's what's looking through your eyes. So in Balance You, we say short moments of open intelligence repeated many times until open intelligence is obvious at all times. Now there are many ways to rely on open intelligence. The short moments of acknowledging open intelligence is what is most important. In order to acknowledge open intelligence in our direct experience, we could take short moments of just stopping describing everything for short moments, identifying with that power to know that is easeful, alert. Open intelligence is clear like a cloudless sky. We rest as open intelligence naturally and freely as it is. Now this is a very profound practice. You know, most of us, we think that in order to do things it requires a lot of techniques and methods and special practices, especially if it's related to the nature of reality, the nature of our mind. It can't be that simple that we just rest naturally we rely on open intelligence and it becomes our direct experience. But since it is who we are, then that's why it is so simple. Who we are is who we are. Now we have many ideas of who we are before this training. Everyone has a certain belief system, an assumption, a, some kind of education that they've adopted or elected. So the simplicity here is just rest deeply without describing anything at all. Leave all concepts, all ideas, all belief systems, just drop them for a moment. When you stop thinking for a moment, that same open intelligence that resides within each of us is all that there is. Open intelligence inseparable from thoughts. <clears throat> the thoughts, they're just appearing in this space of open intelligence. They have no independent nature of their own. If you think about it, you realize that's not even possible. Where are they? Where do they come from? Where do they go? They're just like the, the breeze in this air, inseparable. They have no independent power of their own. We've been living a life giving them power and meaning, however. The thoughts ranging from positive, neutral, and negative and really believing in them and allowing the thoughts to dictate our lives. And the same with emotions. Emotions are the data of open intelligence, inseparable. Just like the sky and the color blue are inseparable, you cannot take them apart. They are one and the same. And the same with sensations. So, short moments of acknowledging open intelligence, the emphasis on descriptions, the emphasis on data fades away into the background.
just like the planets and stars in the sky right now, you can't see them. They're outshone by the brilliant brilliance of the sunlight. They're still there. You just can't see them. The more we rely and emphasize open intelligence, the more we stop focusing and honing in on all the little data points, like all the stars, we realize they're just a vast spread of equalness and evenness, and they have no power to dictate our actions. Now the importance also of letting data be as it is, is to see what emerges naturally. What is our natural condition as a human? Even if we experience anger, hatred, rage, desire, jealousy, envy, upset, irritation, that does not define us as a flawed creature. All of this has started, we start to see it as just the dynamic energy of open intelligence. My data is different than yours, and, but in some levels it's very similar. I, we just start to see it's the dynamic energy of open intelligence. It does not dictate our lives. When I wake up in the morning, in most days I'm a, I would rather sleep for about four or five more hours. And then I just start thinking all the things that need to be done and monitoring the sensations and feeling a bit grumpy. And Now if I were to focus in on all of that, I'd run away. I'd go to the beach and find an antidote. But I come here. And I see it doesn't affect my life satisfaction or flourishing. And in fact, I find it's my beneficial potency. For one, to connect with everyone in, on the earth right now who feels all of those same things. You know, feeling sadness, feeling irritation, feeling upset. You know, there, that just unleashes this natural compassion. I don't have to cultivate any compassion for anyone now. I see it's just naturally there. We can see that in our experience. When you recognize that you have intense anger for someone, you realize that you know why the other person has that too. It's the emphasis on data. But once we've practiced letting it be as it is, and we find that there is love, burning hot love inseparable from that anger, we know that that's the essence of everyone. So anger and hatred are the platform for outshining all of this negativity and seeing, for, seeing it for what it really is. It's not that open intelligence is an angry entity. It's, you know, we've been labeling the descriptions of anger and hatred as some kind of negative force that makes us act in negative ways. But we really need to test out letting anger and hatred be exactly as it is. We don't need to avoid it. We don't need to replace it. Replacing anger and hatred only neutralizes it, so that it will come up again and again when we don't want it to. By letting it be as it is, you find that it's just tremendous beneficial power to be of benefit to yourself and others. We've just wrongly labeled it. So you may, for the rest of your life, you may still have angry data streams coming up, popping into your mind stream. But that's totally fine. There's nothing wrong with that. You let it be as it is. Just like you let this breeze in the air be just as it is. You're not trying to hold it on, bring it into you. You're not trying to push it away. You're letting it be as it is. Just like space is unaffected by anything that appears within it, who we are, open intelligence, is unaffected by any of the data descriptions. And the way to, um, it's hard, initially it can seem challenging to let anger and hatred be as it is. You know, for me it was more like, I want to be right in this situation. <laughs> How can I let it be as it is when I need to tell you that you're wrong and I'm right? <laughs> That's really, it takes some uh, humility there. So you'll just have to practice it. You can continue to state that you're right and believe in that anger, or you can let it be as it is. And in this community, you're, you'll provide it all the support to let it be as it is. You, then you may feel embarrassment for being angry, or you may feel all kinds of new data streams. 
But that's completely fine. We don't, in this environment, we don't need to run away from our data anymore. That's what we've been doing typically. If some, you know, if we feel embarrassed and pre previously, we usually hide away. Can't let them see me embarrassed. Or they, I can't be seen as angry. I need to get out of here. Here you just let it be as it is. It's just the normal stream of data. Some of us are more angry than others in our descriptions. But it's just totally powerful, beneficial energy when we let it be as it is. And um, yeah, so the, the training media helps us if we're in a really challenging situation. You can copy out some text. You can open one of the books and just copy a line or two. Or you can listen to some of the training media, which confirms that anger has no power over you and it starts to really make sense to you. It's confirming that in your direct experience, not as a passivity or a replacement. It's just confirming that you can allow it to be as it is firstly, and then you gain more and more courage that you can, and then at one point you don't have to do anything at all with that anger. It just does not affect you. You start to have this real skillful means in each situation. So the training media, and then you can write to a trainer, or you can ask questions in open meetings when there's a difficult topic. And you can rely on the community. The community will support you in not indulging in data streams. The community, all of us take responsibility. You know, we choose to not act out on everything we think and feel. If we continue to do that, you wouldn't all be here, I guarantee that. <coughs> this place wouldn't be working so smoothly. You know, we wouldn't be able to sit here in such ease and connection. We wouldn't feel this intimacy if we're just focused on the descriptions. Yeah, you definitely would not feel this natural, immediate connection with everyone. It's not something contrived. We're not coming here and contriving a connection with everyone. Oh, I like your data streams, therefore we can be friends. It's just like there's a natural connection. That makes it so easy. And again, that's the power of short moments. Tapping into our inherently loving nature. You know, even these people that are doing these heinous things at the basis, if they have education in the nature of their own intelligence, all of this harmful behavior comes to a complete stop. People are only doing what they're doing to either relieve for relief and to try to provide benefit in the best way they know how. But believing that data have an independent nature is a, a false assumption and it only leads to more micromanaging, more data rearranging. Micromanaging, um, so yeah, just you could use your thoughts as an example. Um, thinking I'd rather be in Thailand now, and then really placing all the emphasis on that. Every time I look at it, the ocean, I wish it was a little more turquoise and I could see the bottom, and continually trying to replace my thoughts of here with something different. Or every time that irritation comes up, you, you just want it to go away, so you look for some way to relieve it. You're micromanaging, you're just always shifting everything around, not going with the flow. And it takes practice to go with the flow. We've been living life in one way for such a long time, but it's not that long. And then it really doesn't take that much longer to reset ourselves. Our natural state is, it doesn't take long to get used to this, compared to a lifetime of reification. It takes much longer to learn a life of reification than it does an open intelligence benefit life. And then, um, yeah, if you're trying to shake off an experience that's happened, like a traumatic experience, trying to shake it off, I mean, just letting it be exactly as it is is the most powerful practice you can do not intellectualizing it, tr not trying to think about how this is going to work. I can't explain how I feel immensely better in my life. You know, I've just showed up. 
by letting my anger be as it is, by letting the extreme anxiety or the paranoid thoughts or the feeling worthless, all of this, just letting it be as it is, is the only way it's outshone for me. Not by screaming it away, shaking it away, breathing it away, running it away. And even if we're doing all those kinds of things, emphasize open intelligence. What is doing the screaming? What is doing the running? What is doing the shaking? It's open intelligence. And then that's just a radically different way of seeing everything, but it's, it's so natural after you start trying it out and coming and hanging out, relying on the Four Mainstays.